The cultivation of microorganisms in vitro requires the provision of a substrate and necessary substances that will be used by the microorganism for its metabolism, growth, and reproduction. Preparations containing the needed substances are called culture media. The objectives of this exercise are to learn how to prepare nutrient agar and nutrient broth culture media for microbial cultivation, and to familiarize students on how to operate the autoclave for culture media sterilization. For this exercise, we are going to use a commercially prepared nutrient agar powder and nutrient broth powder, pipettes, test tubes, beakers or flasks, magnetic steerer, steer bar, cotton plugs, aluminum foil or wax paper, distilled water, and analytical balance. Nutrient agar and nutrient broth are a general purpose media used for the cultivation of a wide array of microorganisms with no strict requirements for growth. It is mainly composed of 0.5% peptone, an enzymatic digest of animal protein, which is the main source of organic nitrogen or amino acids. 0.3% beef extract or yeast extract, which is the primary source of carbon essential for carbohydrate synthesis. It is also the source of vitamins, trace minerals, and other organic compounds. 0.5% sodium chloride to regulate the osmotic equilibrium of the media and 1.5% agar, the solidifying agent for Na. The pH of Na or Nb can be adjusted to 7.4 or neutral pH. Na is commonly used for bacterial isolation, enumeration, and storage. The first step is to weigh the media required to make a slant or plate. Calculate the total amount of medium needed based on the actual number of slants or plates to be made. 28 grams per liter is needed for Na while 13 grams per liter is needed for NB. To make one plate, 15 to 20 ml of media is required, while 5 to 7 ml of media is needed to make a slant. An additional 10 ml is added in the total volume to cover any spillage during the experiment. Using an aluminum foil or wax paper, Weigh the amount of medium needed in analytical balance. Avoid unnecessary exposure of the medium to the atmosphere because of its hygroscopic nature. Carefully transfer the powder into the flask or into the beaker. Pour the required volume of distilled water. Use a magnetic stirrer to dissolve the media completely. For NA slants, dispense 7 ml NA media per test tube using a 10 ml pipette. Put the cotton plug and cover with aluminum foil. Do the same thing with the nutrient broad media. For NA plates, dissolve the media using magnetic stirrer. Put the cotton plug and cover with aluminum foil. The media will be poured into plates after autoclaving. After dispensing the media, label the tubes and flasks properly. Indicate the name of the media, date of preparation, and your name. Put the prepared glasswares and media in the autoclave basket. Do not overcrowd the basket. Turn on the autoclave. Check the drain valve, 
make sure it is closed. Check the water level inside the autoclave. Make sure it reaches or touches the plate or water level indicator. Use distilled or purified water to refill the water in the autoclave. Place the prepared media in the basket and put inside the autoclave. Close the lid of the autoclave and make sure the handle or door is tightly sealed. Autoclave works under extreme heat and pressure. Loose handle may cause explosion of the pressurized vessel during sterilization. Check sterilization settings. Temperature and time should be set at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. After checking and setting the parameters, press start. Autoclaving usually takes about two and a half hours. The actual sterilization at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes starts after the autoclave machine ramps up its temperature to 121 degrees Celsius, which takes about one hour. And then after 15 minutes of actual sterilization, it will ramp down its temperature, which may take another hour. Wait until the autoclave has finished its operation. Once complete, turn off the autoclave. Do not open the autoclave right away. Wait for the temperature to go down for at least 50 degrees Celsius before opening. After sterilization, lay the NA tubes on slanting board. Allow to solidify overnight.